when I left test captainship, I knew, you know, split captaincy doesn't work in India, you know, doesn't work in our setup. So I was waiting for the right time as to what is the right time I wanted Virat to ease it, ease in into the test format. And with so many games, you know, I feel he's right there. And also the fact, you know, uh, with this kind of a decision, the, the best thing is there's no, you know, wrong decision in it. You know, it's just the timing and it, it's the right time. I feel this team has the potential, you know, to do well in all the formats, you know, irrespective of where we are playing. And people keep debating as to who's a good captain, who's a bad captain, who's the best captain. I think this team has the potential, you know, when it comes to winning games, you know, they should win games more than any other captain or team has won because that's the kind of potential that they have got. You know, you look at <clears throat> the kind of talent they have and at the same time the age group they are in. You know, it seems as if everything goes well. They have the potential to play for the next 10 years or 12 years, you know, if not more. Starting from uh, the Champions Trophy, you know, to win the Champions Trophy in England. And, you know, uh, I felt it was the right time to move on because you know, if I'd have stayed till the Champions Trophy, nothing much changes. You know, a lot of people were like, okay, why did I quit mid-series in, in Australia, you know. But, you know, you have to look at the bigger picture. What is more beneficial? You know, one more game into my test number, you know, maybe would have been about 92 or 91, whatever. It doesn't make a lot of a difference, but since Saha was there, he gets a chance to play one more game in Australia, and if everything goes well, he will be the person who will be going into the foreign tour, so he has that exposure, and Virat also at the same time gets the same kind of exposure.